Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venturer, and I'm a rusty old lunchbox. And on this episode, it's the one you've been waiting for. It's OG versus the new fat tire. Oh, I had one left. Kind of a vertical thing, but yeah, it's not kind of yearly. Okay. It's, uh, uh, okay, so how did you change your beer kind of thing? Yeah, here's the thing. I did the review years ago on fat tire, and I have this thing about fat tire because I had it before you could get it on the East Coast. Uh, I'd gone, and we were like, oh, cool, it's this nice uh, red. And I used to drink it on a pretty regular basis. And now they have it, they've changed it from a red, we're going to pour some right here, from a amber. It's not really a red, but it's amber to not. So as you can see, these are two different beers. Now, whenever I heard they were going to stop doing them, I ran out by myself, 12 pack, and enjoyed them. Um, I kept one, and now I bought a six pack. But the other one, that one says Amber Ale. This one just says Ale. Ale. Mm hmm. Yep. So. Um, it should be pretty easy to tell which one's which, and I'm going to taste them, and he's going to taste them, and now I've drank a ton of this one, and we just had this, we just reviewed this, so this is pretty fresh in our mind. This one smells brighter. Mm -hmm. But that color is always going to smell brighter than, a, than an amber. Just, yes, Absolutely. Data collection. Mm. I still haven't drank yet. I'm understandable. Nose to the grindstone or to the beer head. Yeah. Well, that's quite tasty. Remarkable. And it fades quickly. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's not punchy. No. But it feels like it's got everything there. Now, it's a typical amber. It's Maybe it's got a little more malt to it. Oh, much more malt. Yeah. Ambers tend to be much more malty. Um, a little bit more toasted, but not really toasted. Um, so that one tastes more balanced. Uh -huh. The second one. Um still not very powerful I don't know it's very mild to me um, there's not much yeah, this one's really robust yeah this one not so much there the, <sighs> in my opinion there's just much more going on in the original Definitely. Fat tire. There's more punch. There's more flavor. Like, I can tell why the original fat tire was such a cultural phenomenon, especially in the 90s when there wasn't as much of that nature going on. And they did a good job. And did a really good, uh, just, it was a good beer. And it was a beer that once it went nationwide, God, I worked in bars and stuff, and we sold the ever-loving hell out of it. Now, I will admit, then the craft beer revolution took over, and, like, every major town got its own craft brewery, and... But back when there, it was not as big, this beer was a juggernaut. True. Because it brought the flavor. Yeah. And then it, it kind of, I, I, under, I, I think they changed it because it, the, the sales probably waned. It had run its course. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it's run its course because I think it's still a fantastic beer and I drink it on a semi-regular basis. Sales wise. Probably it went, <laughs> it probably went it had consistently gone down, but 
I also know that, you know, the more things you, you have for sale, the lower your sales of a specific thing will be. Right. And I remember when there was, like, we would only see four, maybe five things from New Belgium. And then now you see 14. Is that who makes the Voodoo Ranger stuff? Yes. Okay, so now there's a billion. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> and it's weird. I almost feel like New Belgium kind of put most of their eggs in the IPA basket. Mm. Which I... I mean, I like IPAs, but I know based on my co-host that and it, 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 it's maybe running its course. Well, I, I think uh, it's something, if, if you can do it, go do it. But, like, don't make it your identity. Right. You now, know, branch out a little bit. As far as these two beers are, um, there's, nothing, there's nothing similar other than the name. They both... They both, like, finish off pretty clean. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Because this one's got a lot of punch to it. It's full flavor. This one, not near as robust. Uh, both of them are really smooth and easy to drink, though. And they both finish off real crisp. Real clean, I think. Um, this one, not as much. but But, I mean... I'm not going to rank them or rate them. I'm just going to say which one I like better. I like the old one better. I like the old one better. And it's not like, oh, I only drink Ambers. I mean, if you guys have watched my, my show, I drink everything. So, yeah, Fat Tire, bring back the old one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just... it's Amber Ale, please. The Amber is... I'm an Amber fan, though. I mean... I am. You know, Dos Equis, so I'll have the Amber one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, a Amber Bot. But it? I just had to do a compare and contrast. And here's the biggest here's the biggest takeaway. When it all comes down to it, the compare and contrast, they're nothing alike. Not really. <clears throat> the only thing alike is the name Fat Tire and the word ale. Like This, this is a decent beer. Decent beer, good beer. Definitely. Um, now, that being said, I'm going to put, uh, I'll put the, I'll put the videos in like a, um, a playlist. That's what I should do. And I'll put their links in the description and I'll, also in the description you're going to find my social media, my merch links. Hey, you can pick yourself up a shirt like this or a sticker or something like that. Um, and let's let's talk about it down there in the comments. Like, which one did you dig better? You know, are you glad they got rid of the OG? Or are you happy with this new beer? Are you irritated? You know, what what's your take on this situation? I, I would love to know. I'm now, just sad. I'm, I'm a little bummed. Because I did drink this beer. You're not angry, just sad. And, I mean, hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit me with the like. We really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, it'd be great. Uh, let's have you on the team. Uh, shoot, ring the bell. You'll get three videos a week. Uh, we got big ideas for the 2024 future. Uh, I'm going to add some neat stuff. Me and my co-host, we're having a great time. We're just going to keep doing this. Got plenty of beers to do. Um, like we said, there's not going to be any rating. It's just, I think we both preferred the red. We do. Or the amber. So, I mean, I, there you go. They're just, they're nothing alike. This Until is your next beer adventure. Cheers. <laughs>